Is it time? Is it time, D? Okay, you ready? Turn. What are you doing? Are you getting ready? Are you excited? Okay. I know. I know. Come here. Come here. What's up guys? Alright, um, well welcome back to my channel, and I will welcome myself back to my channel. Um, it's been a few days that I have, um, well probably about two weeks, that I have um, actually posted a video. Um, but welcome back anyways. I wanted to, I'm about to go into the gym, and I wanted to go over real quick. I had a, um, a question for um, what to do after the holidays are over. And I'm and kind of like a detox. Like, what do you like? Do you do anything differently post holidays? And luckily for me this year, because um, usually what happens for me on the holidays is I do happen to pack on a couple extra pounds, whether it's whether it's actually fat or if it's really just water um, from all of the different foods that I normally eat during the holidays and all of the festivities that are going on. Um, it is. Um, this year I really actually didn't do it because I was um, under the weather so I didn't really eat a lot at all so um, luckily I didn't really have to backtrack this year at all um, but most of the time um, I most of the time I do have extra cookies and I have extra monkey bread on Christmas Day and extra uh, stuffing and all of these other things that nor in my normal everyday at home life I don't have a lot and it, it the good news is guys if you think about it positively you know you're gonna be getting back to your normal routine once the holidays are over so um, what, I, what I really want to recommend is when you talk about like sometimes I'll do a detox um, and when I do a detox I'm not talking about like a fad juicing detox for 10 days I'm not talking about a fasting detox I'm I um, I'm talking about adding a couple new ingredients to my diet to help flush out the toxins, um, to do extra cardio during that week to really make me sweat and flush out those um, all of the all of the nastiness um, that is on the inside that I feel. Um, it's more of a mental thing when it comes to the cardio because uh, you know one or two sessions of workout, yeah, you'll burn like 500, 600 calories, but ultimately, guys, you want to you want to make sure that you maintain something outside of just detoxing okay so um, for me some there's three tips that I really recommend that you guys do for um, detoxing like post holidays before you eat or drink anything in the morning anything else I want you to make a hot cup of water and add fresh lemon juice to it drink that before you do anything else it'll really restart your day it'll restart your metabolism it'll flush out all the toxins same thing I love well I don't love I actually hate it but I know I know by taking it there are so many benefits and um, benefits to taking it apple cider vinegar shots I can't for the life of me drink it more than a shot I drink it like I like I'm a little kid with my 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 hands to my nose and I swig it like I did NyQuil when I was like two years old um, it's so nasty I always get goosebumps after I have it but I know it's working wonders apple cider vinegar has so many amazing properties guys I really, really think that you should try it in the morning. It helps flush, clean out your system. It helps pretty much reset your system um, a little bit. And those are the two things I recommend doing in the morning before anything. Add a little bit more cardio. Just do like 30, to, 30 minutes to an hour on the treadmill, on the bike, on the step mill. You know, really make sure that you're at a place where you're sweating a lot and you can, you feel it. You feel it just coming out of your pores. Um, that is another tip. Uh, I also do recommend 
drink a lot of water. Um, that's gonna be one of the best things for you, especially with all the cookies and all the sugar that you guys probably ate over the over Christmas holidays. Sugar is so bad for your skin, guys. Um, if, I mean, you guys probably even noticed you might be breaking out after you eat um, a lot of sugar over the holidays. So when you drink a lot of water, you will detox your system. You'll pull all of those impurities out of your system. Your skin will start to look clearer. Um, that is definitely one of the best things you can do for yourself and your body and your skin. So um, add cucumber, add fresh mint to your water, add lemon, add any type of berries. Um, something that just give it a little bit of flavor so you can actually drink a lot more of it. Um, so those would be my tips, guys. Real simple, quick tips. Get your sleep and start on a maintenance plan. You know, uh, 2017 can be your guys' year, and you guys can have so much fun with it. So, all right, so we're going in, we're gonna get a great workout, and we are going to do um, a little bit of glutes and shoulders and back. Mainly shoulders and back, but I do like to get the glutes in. I haven't worked out for a couple days, and um, I do have a few videos I actually need to do for Conquer Fit Girls um, and the, the New Year Challenge, so new alternatives. So, let's go in and, yeah. Alright guys, so got the Alyssa in black. This is not going to be here, just so you know. <laughs> it's actually going to be on the back. Um, and then we got the Nicole's on. I you can see them. Actually, hold on. I don't know if you can see them. All right guys, so we're moving forward with our voiceover for the workout today. I wanted to focus um, on shoulders and back in this particular YouTube video for you guys. I did definitely add in about two glute exercises, um, but I didn't think it was really necessary to put it in this video. Um, it was only for my Cucker Fit videos page for the New Year's Challenge Girls. So um, I will put those exercises in a different video in the future, but right now we're gonna focus on shoulders and back. So I did warm up with the step mill this, this particular day. Um, a lot of times, in fact, I'll, the bikes that at this gym are have been pretty busy, so I will alternate to a different piece of cardio equipment and I will make it fun, guys. I won't just do the same old song and dance. I will um, do different, if you haven't noticed, I will do different types of steps, sideways with kickouts. I will do like a double step just to make it interesting and creative and fun for the 10 minutes that I'm on it. Um, for me, that's really what's most important because it keeps me doing it, okay? All right, so let's begin with the weight training. We are starting with pl a plated front shoulder raise. All right, so you'll notice I actually prefer using a plate. Um, not really sure why, I, but you guys know I like plates. Um, I d uh, they're, they're just, there's so many of them in the gym, so there's no reason to wait for 10 pound dumbbells. Um, going into a cable uh, lateral pull down. Um, this is gonna engage the wide portion of your back, guys. Um, and this particular one has two cables, um, so I'm able to use both handles as opposed to just the straight bar on the wide um, lat pull-down machine. Um, in, I'm going into upright rows, okay? Um, these, I, again, I'm using the same plate. So a lot of times, you guys, if you guys see me at the gym, um, I do a lot of stuff particularly just different alternatives so that I don't have to move around a lot. I don't have to go and grab new equipment. I do really enjoy my supersets and I don't really, I'm not really very patient in the gym. Um, I know patience is a virtue and whatnot, but I'm not very patient in the gym. So I will bring whatever equipment I need in my little vicinity and I will just really, I could literally put a workout together in a small, I don't know, three by three um, for the most part. So um, you'll notice that a lot of this is all done in the same place. Um, I don't really move around a whole lot, especially when your gym is really busy. I really recommend you kind of doing it this way. Um, 
Okay, so we are moving forward and we are doing, guys, I don't know what it is, but I love this version of face pulls slash lateral pull down. It's more of a diagonal, so I don't really know which one to really call it. It's not necessarily face pulls, but it's not necessarily a lat pull down. So bear with me, um, being that these exercises are <laughs> not the standard, I don't even think that there's a, a dictionary name for some of these exercises so I will make my I will make Sammy's own names up for these um, just so you kind of are familiar with okay this is which one you're she's talking about um, but basically the last exercise um, and I will put that obviously in the video and in the description box um, will be something <laughs> um, we are moving forward into cable crossovers for the shoulders Guys, this was really hard. I don't really care what any guys say. I don't care that I'm only lifting five pounds on each side. My resistance um, in the cable section is incredibly difficult. I'm not being a baby with it. You guys know what you can do. Again, safety is always key. If I'm the only one who recommends it to you guys, please listen. Do not compromise your safety for the fact that people think you need to lift heavier, okay? Um, I am one to show you that you can still build muscle by lifting lighter, okay? It, it is possible, um, it is possible, and it's also safer. Okay, and so moving forward, we are going to do a front reverse grip shoulder raise, okay? So this one is particular, obviously on the cable, um, I have a straight bar that I am using, and you'll notice that my palms are facing upward, all right? It is a reverse grip front shoulder raise. I love it, keep your elbows slightly bent. Do not keep your arms completely straight. The, uh, keep it slightly bent and that will prevent any injuries, okay? I, I just, I basically just turned around and I'm starting to do upright rows on the cables as opposed to the plate that you originally saw. Uh, so this one is a great super set to do, guys. Go from one to the other and you guys are gonna be golden on your shoulders. <laughs> All right, so you guys will notice that I'm actually, like I said, pretty much around the same vicinity in the gym that I have been throughout this entire workout. Um, again, this is kind of what I do. I don't, I don't take up a lot of time moving from piece of equipment to piece of equipment, and I just love alternatives, and I'm really hoping you guys enjoy the alternatives as well because you're still working the muscles the exact same way as you do with the, the standard exercise. But sometimes just the difference of position, the difference of scenery really keeps you motivated. It keeps things fun, it keeps things creative. Um, and obviously you guys know that's what I'm about. Um, I've been working out for eight years. I have yet to get bored with any of it. And so something I just want to encourage you guys to do, and enjoy these alternatives. Um, you can definitely enjoy the standards as well, but when you're doing the standards twice a week times 15 years, I mean, things get can, can get pretty boring. So um, enjoy the creativity. So um, obviously you're seeing me do narrow pull downs as well as some uh, diagonal face pulls. Um, something else I want to preface it with this entire outfit is by Petula. Um, the, the sports bra is a, actually a sample that I will be bringing out in bulk in the near future. So just be on the lookout. I'm really hoping it's going to be in the full-blown second launch in April. Um, the bottoms are the Nicole's that will be available very soon in the restock and several other colors are coming soon as well, guys. I'm super excited for it. Um, so, so yep, and then we're gonna finish off with straight arm pull downs. This one will engage the triceps as well as the back. Um, so, so good for the, the outside of the back. So a lot of this is really out, uh, lateral, the lateral muscles, um, the lats, the latissimus dorsi, um, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and it just really, really works. So I will put the exercises in the description box for you guys. Go kill the workout, and I will see you in the next YouTube. All right, see ya.